getting our goats safely to Missouri before the roads get worse is front and center. That's a lie. There were three stink bugs in my bathroom, in the bathtub with me. So they don't keep to themselves. They get up in your business. We're getting gas again, this time in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We hit bad weather this morning in Nebraska. Kind of a close call. I had a little trouble keeping the truck on the road. Fortunately, there weren't any other cars around at the time. We're just taking it nice and slow in this um, in these conditions and uh, hoping for the best. Welcome to Utah. Life elevated. Yeah. You probably got like a two second of the side of the sign. <laughs> We made it to Utah. The snow and ice disappeared about halfway through Wyoming. Hopefully that's the worst of our trip this time. I think we picked the absolute perfectly worst window of time to leave so that we would hit sort of an early snowfall kind of event. But it's a real wake up call. We're gonna have to move things along and get the rest of our trips done before the mountains get really worse. Maybe we can just pay attention to what the weather's gonna do and just try to hit windows that are a little drier, a little warmer. Hopefully we'll be just fine. <laughs> Okay, it's been a really long day. We're looking forward to just eating and going to bed. I'm shooting these segments well before they're gonna be edited into videos. So by the time you see this, it may be well into winter. Right now it's just early fall and we're hoping for better weather. We're only about halfway done with bringing stuff out from Oregon to Missouri. Hi, this is Brian from Simple Moon Farm now back at Ivy Acres Homestead in the Pacific Northwest. We've only been back a few days, just long enough for me to do one last building project here. First, it would really help us out if you could subscribe to our channel and share these videos with your friends. We're close to the threshold of being monetized. Having some income from YouTube would help us out with what we want to do at the new place. The last building project that I needed to do was converting this old used horse trailer into a goat trailer. We really love those fancy goat trailers that Blue Cactus Dairy Goats has, but this is what we can afford. We pulled out that saddle rack and the horse dividers because we don't need those. I built two stalls in here with some fancy gates. Those gates will really help out with getting the goats in and out a little bit easier and that's going to be no mean feat because it's going to be really tight quarters in here. I designed this with pressure treated lumber right on the ground and then the rest of it is just regular wood. Uh, let's see, what else? To make things a little bit easier because space is so cramped, we've got water buckets and feeders where they can be easily accessed from the outside, in the back, or right through the windows. This bucket over here Wendy wanted so she could just reach over here if she needed to come inside and do that. It, the gate does, will slide through. You kind of have to do a little tight squeeze to make it happen though. The stall mats are just pieced together from the original stall mats that were in this trailer. None of this structure is actually screwed on to any of the metal. It's all just screwed together on itself, holding itself together, and screwed down to the floor. One last de detail I thought of. Lights, so late at night on the road, 
we can check on our goats. We're not taking our goats on this next trip. I had to finish this project because we are taking the tools that I needed to build it. We're feeling especially pressured right now to expedite everything because of a close call, a seriously close call on ice in Nebraska on our way back here to Oregon. Getting our goats safely to Missouri before the roads get worse is front and center. Right, let's do that again. This is the plan. We're gonna do one last trip with our small trailer, which we'll leave in Missouri, and then come right back to get our goats over there. At that point, Wendy will be staying in Missouri to work on the new place and take care of the goats. I'll come back here to finish getting this place ready to sell. It may be of interest to know what tools I'm keeping here. I'm keeping one ladder so I can get up on the roof and clean the gutters. I'm keeping my leaf blower, lawnmower, and pressure washer so I can keep this place looking nice in order to help sell it. I'll be keeping an assortment of hand tools, my sawzall, and a chainsaw. I think that should probably cover anything that might come up. We didn't get it on camera, but we just passed a sign here in Kansas saying it was the geographic center of the United States. Here we are, put it back a minute. So here we are in the middle of things. Looks like the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on a bigger city. This is Wichita, Kansas. Okay, you little bit of Wichita. We saw it. We saw it here. It was Wichita. <laughs> We're in Nebraska at the world headquarters for Cabela's. We're here to look at some fishing stuff and a couple of other things. South on Lincoln Avenue West toward West McGowan Street. Then turn left onto West McGowan Street. Use the right lane to take the I-80 West Ramp.
Yesterday, we drove through Missouri, Kansas, and then just into Colorado here. Today, we're going to go th through Colorado, and then I believe we're going to try and go through Wyoming. Maybe, I don't know if we're going to go to Utah or not, and then into Idaho. It's a it's another hard push home. We're anxious to get back. Sunrise in Denver. We're well on our way home. I don't know if I'm ju I'm just filming something, Wendy. Do you have your bags yet? They're in there, but I needed to put something else in there. I think. I don't know if any of the video came out last night. We were moving these goats mostly in the dark. We got them in there. The boys ended up being easier to get in than the girls did. Eros wasn't a lot of help. He uh, kept getting out of places that we tried to keep him out of the way and... He's naughty. Yeah, he would... He's naughty. He would scare the goats away from yes. our... Our uh, little okay. entrance here, so. Yes. And I was grumpy. I was very grumpy. <laughs> it was the worst, worst start. <laughs> well, we're getting a fresh start this morning. I'm never coming back here. When there were stink bugs in my bathroom this morning, so I'm not going to miss them. <laughs> I found so many things this morning to not miss. So apparently we stayed here too long. <laughs> I'm not going to miss Oregon City. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to miss it. I really like it out here. Uh, the stink bugs don't bother me too much. They keep to themselves. Uh, I do need to get up on the roof and get rid of some leaves. There's a lot of stuff I have to do out here. That's a lie. There were three stink bugs in my bathroom, in the bathtub with me. So... They don't keep to themselves. They get up in your business. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. They're little bugs. You just don't just little them. bugs. They smell like sewage. <laughs> <laughs> Moving goats halfway across the country is an interesting thing to do. I've been driving slower, so it's taking us longer. Last night was a really long day. We got up kind of, well, not too early today. Kind of slept in a little bit. But before we took our shower, we went ahead and made sure all the goats had food and water. It's not freezing temperatures, but it's kind of oh. chilly. Oh. So I was walking back and forth from the hotel room with a big thermos of warm water from the sink and oh. our goats all seem to be doing pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and take our showers, have the hotel breakfast and get oh. back on the road. Indigo. You, trooper? The goats actually have a little more room in here than we were thinking they might. It hasn't been too bad of a trip. At first we were thinking we needed to put pine shavings down on these stall mats, but they've spilled enough of their hay that I think that's doing the, doing the job for them. So the way we've been doing the water is just with, well let me show you how we do the water. Eros, we'll get on the road soon enough. Yes. 
patience. Patience is your virtue, isn't it? Yes. Maybe not. hasn't been too cold or it hasn't been cold enough to freeze the water which is nice but we have been bringing warm water from inside the hotel just to keep it hot a little water. hot water just to keep it a little nicer for the goats they like hot water why do they like hot water i don't know i'm not a goat <laughs> <laughs> we're almost home we're in missouri what Without doing well, it helps. It helps to use my hands. Okay, we don't want to get run over. This is the last fill up before we get home. Obviously, it's dark already, so we're probably gonna just leave the goats in the trailer and take care of moving them to their new pens tomorrow morning. Welcome home, goats. Come on. Get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Want to see what the plan is? Girls first, boys Girls second? Girls first, boys second. I thought I'd let them get out because they're not going to go very far without each other, so. They're staying together like a herd, that's good. Just intentionally releasing the goats like this. It's something we would not have done back in Oregon City. Come on, Bakri. Come on, Valkyrie. Yeah, do I know my goats? That worked really well. <laughs> Come on, goats. No, you're not going to that side. Come on, this way, this way. Come on, goats. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Look at this good stuff. Good goats. That wasn't too hard. No. This video was all over the place and not very cohesive as far as editing goes. But that kind of describes how my life has been on the road lately. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thank you very much for taking this trip to the moon with us and our goats.